tell you guys a story. This past Saturday, I went to the farmer's market in Providence, Rhode Island. We were picking out all kinds of produce and getting yummy things from farms. And when we finished shopping, we decided to get some lunch. So there were a bunch of food trucks at the farmer's market, and I love food trucks. So we went around and looked at all the different menus for all these different food trucks. And I'm not sure why I was having this problem, because usually the problem is trying to narrow down the choices because I want to eat all of the things. <laughs> but at some point, it occurred to me that I really wanted a grilled cheese sandwich and for some reason none of the trucks that were there had a grilled cheese sandwich. Even the one that was there that I usually get grilled cheese from had decided that today was a day for burgers instead, which is fine. I don't have anything against burgers, but I just really, really wanted a grilled cheese. So I was telling Matt, Matt, why don't any of these trucks have grilled cheese? All I want is grilled cheese. Usually they all have it. Usually that's like the number one food truck food. And once I got it in my head that I wanted grilled cheese, none of the other things sounded good anymore. And I just was having trouble. And I am not kidding you. As soon as I said it out loud, a grilled cheese truck, like a truck with a giant picture of grilled cheese on the side just drove by. And I was like, Yes! It was amazing! I apparently have some sort of grilled cheese psychic superpower! Yes! So it was really busy at this farmer's market and there were no parking spaces for this grilled cheese truck. So it kept driving around the circle, around this little park, and I kept following it. I'm gonna follow this grilled cheese truck. I'm gonna have grilled cheese. It's gonna be the best. Grilled cheese on food trucks is always so good. And finally the grilled cheese truck found a parking spot and I was so excited. And so I kind of waited like 15 feet away just because I didn't want to like crowd them, you know, and and they hadn't put out their menu yet And all their doors were still shut. So I was like, all right, I'll give them some time They got to get the grilled cheese ready. So I waited and finally they put out the menu So I ran over looked at all the options and they all sounded amazing I thought about it very carefully I narrowed it down and then I decided which one I wanted and somebody else walked up to order and they were like Oh, we're almost ready like 10 more minutes come back in a little while So I was like, okay fine. I can wait 15 more minutes for grilled cheese. It'll be okay and I will get it and it will be delicious and it will be worth the wait. And then our phone started ringing and it was our landlady and she had called us to let us know that a pipe had burst on the third floor of the house that we live in and that the lady who lives on the second floor uh, has a completely flooded apartment and she wanted to find out if we had any water in our apartment and so we had to go home. We did not have time to get the grilled cheese. Uh, we had to go home and find out that a whole lot of water and rust and just gross stuff had just dripped down on all of our clothes in our bedroom closet. And so then we had to clean it up and we had to spend like a whole day at the laundromat. And for some reason, I was still upset about not getting grilled cheese. Priorities, my friends. So this story has a happy ending. Luckily we got back to our apartment quickly enough and all of the crap that had leaked down through the ceiling came out of our clothes. We got them to the laundromat in time. Even my flying squirrel pajamas, which were the nastiest looking, just covered in grime and all wet and drippy and gross. So they're all okay. And having fought a losing battle with obtaining food truck grilled cheese, we cut up a baguette from one of the local bakeries in Providence and made teeny tiny little vegan grilled cheeses. And we ate them for dinner and for breakfast the next morning. And they were so adorable and super delicious and everything turned out okay. The end.